Hi guys, this is Autism Talks by the way. So I know I haven't been doing a lot of stuff on channel because a lot of things has come up for me. Um, and I've also been sick for two weeks, so that's been great. On school holidays, I'm like, what? Anyway, um, so besides that, I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, so we are going to just dive in. Um, we're going to stop talking about negativity because I'm like, oh, the energy is so exhausting. Like, my goodness, I know what my mum feels like now when she talks to me about that. I'm just like, oh, you know, so we're going to stop doing that. And we're going to move on to new topics. Now, I've never talked about these in the past, but it's kind of like not a reboot, but we're still going to continue in that stuff, even though it's based on different topics. So um, let's get started. So families. Now, we talked about this in the past, blood type, blood family, you know, where you, where you come from, you know. But we're going to talk about like um, more like parents in a way. So have you ever had that one parent that, oh gosh, this is going to be hard to explain. Um, you see, you know, some people are some people are divorced in real life, and that might be due because of their parents or them, or there could be any situation, any situation. But my situation is sort of a bit different because my dad is a very complicated, and I'm not just saying this. He is a very complicated, hard, tough guy. And, um, you know, on numerous occasions, we've, we've tried to connect with him, but it's never worked out because he's, I'm not going to swear, because he's complicated, you know, and, um, if you know what I'm getting at with this, um, you probably have the same relation with your parents too, whether it will not be your mom, your dad, your grandpa, your grandma, you know, but you always have that one parent who disappoints you in everything that you do and, and wants you to do better and expect you better. And when you're autistic, it's hard because, you know, I don't want to say too much about this. But, um, you know, when, you, when you're autistic, it's kind of hard having a parent that is hard and tough. Because, like, me and my brother, we weren't raised like that. Like, you know, because we live a different life to what he does and um so recently um i i've just been like you know it's i don't want to get really emotional when i say this but lately it's been hard for me because you know he's just he's just so complicated you know you you know like parents sometimes where or not will not be a mummy be your mum and dad it's just been really it's really complicated and you, you know when I you know when I understand this to you guys it's complicated having one parent you know not be the mom or not be the dad and it's really hard because you know it's just it's just oh god like you know it's just really hard and you know it's it's really hard when you're in a situ, not in a situation, but it's really hard when something happens like that. I mean, you know, it, I know it's all adult talk, but I'm not going to get into that topic. But, you know, it's hard having a parent, or especially a mom or dad, in this case, my dad, for example, he, you know, he's never really tried hard enough with us. Like, if you know where I'm coming from, it's like, you know, it is really complicated and you guys might feel the same way because it's not just only about me, it's about you guys as well. So if you've like tried to connect with your parents on a level on a level basics and it's never worked out, then that's their problem. It's not your problem. I mean it's really not. I mean, they're the ones well technically oh god, it's gonna be hard. Like they're the, they're they're supposed to be the the responsible parents, you know, and some parents you know, done stupid things that we don't even know about because, you know, some parents, I'm not saying all parents are bad, but, you know, when you're coming from, when you're coming from any situation, whether or not be your mom and dad being divorced or anything like that, it is hard, but also too, it's complicated because, you know, if your mom and dad are not together anymore, let's just say it like that because divorce is very a big word. So if your mom and dad aren't together anymore, then that creates a bit of 
confliction with the old partner, you know. And, you know, you want, she wants this and he wants that. And, you know, it's just back and forth. And, like, why is this happening? Like, like as teenagers and children, we can't, we can't understand why that's happened. But it's really none of our business. So, you know, so my dad is complicated. He's very hard to get close to. And I'm just, like, I've just, I just, I've just, like, given up because... You know, no matter what, it, it it's good that you have it's good to have a parent that loves you, and that's my mom, of course. Like she she loves me, PJ, more than anything in the world. She says it herself. Um, you know, so I get where you're coming from if you have that complication with your parents and stuff. But you know, it's also hard when you know just they they just I don't know how to say this, but just sometimes. You know, like, you know, you don't, you don't understand why they're doing that or why, how come they're doing that? Because it's really hard to make you guys understand. And, you know, I've been through this a lot with some of the things that, you know, we experience as well. So it's hard to tell you guys that, you know, some parents can be good, some parents can be bad. One parent can be good and the other one can be bad. Or in this case, one bad parent and the other and the other good parent. I'm not saying your parents are I'm not saying parents This is hard to explain. What do you think? I'm not saying this about anyone's parents, but you get where I'm coming from because there's some situations where your parents are just like, nah, who cares? And there are some cases, like, you know, you get taken away from your parents for an unexpe unexpected reason. And then um, you live with your grandma or your grandpa or anyone, really. And you just get chucked off to them because your parents don't want you. You know, it's so like, it can be any, any situation. But my situation is totally different to your guys' situation, if that, if that makes sense. You know, but it's, you know, but saying that, you do have a parent, you do have, I won't say parent, sorry, um, you do have someone that loves you and cares for you, and that's all you got to think about. I mean, sure, you've got that one parent who, you know, you wish he wasn't your mum and dad, or you wish that wasn't in your life, and you wish all that kind of stuff, like, I don't know what's going through my head, like, now. Yeah, so, you know, it is hard having, you know, like, like, if either if you with your mom or dad or, you know, um, your grandpa, grandma, it could be anyone, like, I don't even know what your situation is about, but I think you can understand what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand myself, because I'm kind of, kind of, like, my brain confusing myself, so... What I mean is, it's like sometimes you have a parent that you don't get along with or a dad or mom or like I said before, grandpa or grandma that you don't get along with and it's and it's really hard. And it's going to point to me that, you know, I'm just so angry of what happened and, you know, when you're the kid or the teenager or anything, you're just really upset with them and you're really angry with them and you just want to, you know, like... Like, you know, like, um, like, like when you're angry at someone, I guess, you know, you just want to do something to them. Like, you really don't. Like, you know, it's kind of like confliction. Like, I've got things in my head sometimes saying, you know, like, people, people have done some things to me. I just want to do that to him that I can't. But not, but not like, like, I won't go up to a person just do that but you know in my head like it's all about imagination so I'm thinking in my head like right you know I want to do something I want to bash someone you know just like that and as it with the fists and then yeah but you know at the end of the day there's nothing re really you can do about it just think like with this, with this experience I've learned to be more stronger in myself and not to trust 
my dad anymore because seriously I'm just fed up like I'm tired of this like you know I'm actually I'm actually taking like I'm actually taking like action. Like I've set my um standards now. I've actually I, I've I've actually gone gone to the point. I've actually stand. I've actually gone to the point. Sorry, I keep bubbling myself. Um, that I've set standards for myself to only protect myself from that. And it is hard when you have a parent who, you know, demands all of this and who wants money and you know oh I've done my part and stuff like that. And you know it is hard, and especially when you're autistic and. You know, you have you have a parent that does everything and then the other has to commit to that because you're in because your parents might have separated like a long time ago or something and you still have to commit to, you know, helping them out because it's your job, because you're the parent, you know, you are supposed to do that. But some cases, you know, when it comes to this, um you know, do it because you know, they've like said like Oh, you know, I don't really want to do that. Like, you know, and the other person says, they're your children, you know? Like, yeah, like, you know, I'm just like, ah, oh, dusting it off. Like, you know, like, who cares? Like, I'm over this. Like, seriously, I am with, with where I, with, with, with my dad and, you know, and if you have any, like, complications with your parents, like, I get it. Like, it's tough, but... You know, you get to see their true colors, and I finally see that my dad is not the nicest person in the world. Let's just say that. But, you know, I am just sick and tired of him making up lies and not being there. And it is hard when you get those afflictions of saying a lot of things. And, you know, like, you just gotta, like, you just gotta be thankful that you have, like, like a mom or a dad, you just gotta be thankful that they've um, given you something that that parent hasn't. Like my mom has given me, given me a lot of things, and I'm glad and I'm proud for that. And she's always been there for us, so you know I'm kind of happy, you know. And you know, some parent might say, "Oh, you know, blah blah blah." Like you know, like it's kind of a case of mum versus dad or dad versus mum you know if you want to put it that way but you know I'm just sick and tired with this affliction with my dad as well so you know where I'm coming from when I say that so that's what I've been dealing with um lately but like you know like it pre it goes to show you that when someone does you wrong you can be stronger and for me like, you know, when it comes to these situations, like, you probably don't know about this about me, but I bounce back pretty, I wouldn't say quickly, but I really bounce back. Like, all the bad experiences that I have, whether it's high school or school or, you know, family stuff, you know, um, friendships and stuff, like, I've really bounced back. Like, you know, some people don't really bounce back that quickly. And I think, you know, like, like, you know, like, I found myself, my inner strength, and plus I'm going to the gym, so that's really helping me too, so I've kind of found my core inner strength, and I know where my standards are now, and I know where it lays, and I am, you know, taking, you know, that into account, and, um, you know, so you get where I'm coming from when I say that to you guys, you know, so, yeah, so if you have that problem with your parents, I get it, you know, well, at least one of your parents, you know, like, not two of them, like, you know, like, one, I don't know, I don't know, but, yeah, so, that's all I've got time for, guys, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.